Diecast Norbs is a channel devoted to the teen to adult toy collector, pop culture fans, and fellow nerd enthusiasts. This is a PG-13 channel. I might say some shit. Viewer and parental discretion is advised. Hello to every single one of you out there, my very fine hooligans, from the depths below to the galaxies far up above. It's time for another episode of Diecast Norbs Galactic Hooligan. And I really am thankful that you're actually all here today, as always. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I'd really appreciate it. It's a small step for you, but a giant leap for me. And I was just like, just hanging out by myself today and everything like that, just minding my own business when all of a sudden some terror had actually come over to my doorstep. And today I am actually going to give you the sovereign of suffering. It is Galvatron. I was super, super happy seeing this guy come over to me finally after months of waiting and salivating over this guy. Now, the true terror, the true, uh, what am I actually gonna give it, uh, what, what, oh, the true tyrannical leader of triumphant terror is actually finally here. And I am too super extremely stoked with this guy. Like, look at how this guy is actually coming out to you already, head tilted and everything, just like he's actually ready to start some shit. Look at that guy, he is, awesome i can't wait to review him just now so i'm actually ha i'm happy you're here this is a momentous occasion for me especially after that uh galvatron that we actually got back in titans returns and everything don't get me started on that guy but i think this guy is actually it for me i am going to review this guy and really, really scrutinize over everything. But what if, from what I've actually seen so far, he looks like he's actually gonna be great. Thanks for joining me again, always. And as always, remember, be a hero, wear a mask. We're still in COVID season, still, even with 40% of our Americans actually is already vaccinated and everything, please be a hero, wear a mask, Make sure you're actually protecting yourself and others out there. And um, also go get the vaccine, you know? Like uh, right now we're actually, we're actually at a point where science has actually finally caught up and things are actually like so much better now that we actually have it than if we didn't. You know? I really cannot stress the importance of vaccines right now and everything. And I'm actually glad that we're actually here where we can actually have them at our fingertips. We're actually taking them to protect you and each other and myself. So please, let's get up to herd immunity and everything. Make sure that we actually all stay as healthy as possible. And now, let's get on with the review. I can't wait already. Look at this. Ah, this is so awesome. I love like all that painted, though, all that detailing right over there and all the paint and everything like that that's actually been used here. I'm sorry, I actually already had to start talking about this guy. But let's get him out of the box and see how amazeballs he really is. All right, and welcome back, everyone. Oh, man, I super appreciate you all tuning in once, once again. And I just wanted to give you a follow-up on my Ultra Magnus review. Now, remember when I actually said that he was actually kind of loose and everything? I figured out through the use of a Facebook friend that there's another connection that's actually right down here. And just let me open this up a little bit. There we go. And here we are. And once I actually get past these two pegs, there's another connection right over here that slots right into here and makes a more solid connection and everything. And after I found that out, I actually had no more sad times whatsoever with uh, with Ultra Magnus, even though I still think there should be like another connection piece right over here. But 
since I actually found this out. It's only been good times for diecast norbs, and I am really loving my Ultra Magnus even more and everything. So there we are. I'm actually just like loving this. But that being said, and you know, since Arch Enemies is actually something that I'm actually really into, now nah, my god, look at this guy right over here. Behold, Galvatron. I love this already and everything. Even without opening, I'm going to take this out of the box right now. But doesn't his uh, face kind of look like, Magnus, give me the Matrix, you know? I love that so much. Oh, hey, look at that. I'm actually seeing myself right over here, like right on the screen here. Oh, I should have actually held that for like some kind of like a surprise gift thing or something like that. But like, there we go. Galvatron looks incredible so far. And the, th the concerns that I actually had about his arms and everything like that being a little bit more massive than I thought they would be, uh, in person, it's actually like a lot better than I thought it was. So let me get this guy out of package and I will return. And now with all that's been said about making Ultra Magnus more complete, behold, Galvatron. I am really, really impressed with what Galvatron is actually bringing to us already. He is super, super spiffy. I'm really loving this guy a lot. And from every detail all around, he is almost perfect. Except for this cut piece right over here. I have just the need to fix that a little bit with some kikis and everything because it doesn't lock in here whatsoever or some floor polish, whatever may have you. But he is outstanding. Standing. Just let's give you a little bit of a look at that face. That face says, Magnus, give me the Matrix. You know, look at this guy. He is just so perfect. And I really thought that I was actually going to have such a bad time with like all of these details right over here. Uh, that's nothing but like char and everything by uh, where he was actually trapped on that uh, on that place, just like getting, uh, just like being maddened by like, I guess he was actually stuck in Mercury for a long time or something, you know what I mean? But like, this guy is great. And first impressions, because I still haven't like, this is my thing about Galvatron. I tried my best, except for Prime vs. Prime and Tauntaun reviews, I actually tried my best not to look at anyone else's reviews so I wouldn't be swayed one way or the other or anything like that, just so I can actually have like, just a look at this guy up close and personal. And the only thing I actually did was I actually went into MGO's uh, Just Transform It video and everything just so I could refresh my mind on like how to change this guy but you know like so far just everything about this guy screams galvatron you know loving this guy so much and he is just really what was actually missing out of this whole entire collection uh, just kind of want to compare him to what we actually had in titans returns galvatron here and this is larger class, this is leader class, and I'm actually assuming leader class more because of like classic content and that sort of thing, but just like really extraordinary to see exactly where they actually went to for Galvatron. I mean, it was right out of the box. Just everything about this is great. There, and from what I'm actually understanding, from what I'm actually seeing here, nothing else needs to be added to make him Galvatron. And fix up his neck over here and everything so he doesn't look like he's actually giving the the stink eye over to Galvatron up to the other Galvatron over here now I actually got this other uh, helmet over here from Shapeways and everything so and like another connection piece to like actually enabled him to hold his fusion cannon here but let me just give you a look at him with what he originally came with and that was actually that helmet right over there that pop out thing that didn't even say Galvatron whatsoever or anything like that you know and in comparison I guess this was actually okay for its time but man this Galvatron is actually exactly where it's actually supposed to be 
Uh, let me just give you a quick look into articulation here. He actually does have a 360 on his neck. He actually has a up, and he has a slight down, you know. He actually has a 360 right over here by his uh, shoulder. He can actually like go up tremendously without breaking up the uh, look of the bot altogether. And originally I thought that this was actually going to distract me a lot more than what I'm actually seeing now. Because uh, to me in the original, uh, like the original times that I've actually seen him, it looked like they just like put this guy and rub, put the shoulder just like right there and everything. And even though it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of like that. It's not really as much of an eyesore as I actually thought it would have actually been. You know, so like, uh, it's not bad, not bad at all. He actually has like a rotation by the biceps right over here. He actually has a double jointed uh, arm right over here. And if you actually want to move this to, if you want to move these treads over, just to like actually give him a little bit more, uh, you know, but just make it look like it's not as disjointed or anything like that. You can actually do that. And let's see, he's actually got like a wrist swivel right over here, even though they actually made the transformation where the wrist actually kind of like goes in here. So that's great. I wish it would actually do a lot more of this and more of their figures. He actually has a waist rotation right over here. So that's actually great. He can actually kick up that high. He actually makes a full kung fu kick right over here and everything. So he actually has nothing to worry about when it actually comes down to the art of death. You know, he actually has a rotation over here by the upper thigh. He can bend at his legs by 90 degrees. He actually has ankle tilt right over here. So that's actually really nice and nor Dorsey flexion or anything like that but like otherwise than that though galvatron over here is actually really really amazing i love this so much he's great paint job amazing that face just screams galvatron right there i almost feel like i see like i feel leonard nimoy just coming out of the of them all together and everything so just a very very cool toy so far now, Galvatron comes with all that you actually see here and is actually good for you for like a breakfast full of evil, you know? So he is got his particle beam cannon, check. He's got two other particle beam cannons, check, which are actually supposed to be like um, really uh, very cool like drafts of the uh, of the nemesis here and everything or what was it oh the revenge that's right so like this is the ship that galvatron actually travels on to to like actually go get the matrix and do unicron's bidding you know and he doesn't come with one he comes with two which is actually very cool and everything and he can actually hold them as like ulterior weapons and everything like that so you can actually kind of like put them in his hands and he has actually got like more weaponry that you can actually use for him and everything so that's actually very cool sorry about the blur everyone but you can actually kind of like take these out of his hands also and you can merge them into a mighty weapon that is there we go you can actually merge them into this weapon right over here which is actually like kind of cool i guess it's actually kind of like more like a rail gun more than anything else so that's nice and you can actually add that into galvatron's hand here for more blasting action but when not in use and this is actually very cool he can actually hold this in his uh siege cannon mode or on him on his own person when he's actually not using it at all or anything like that and there's like a slot right over here that actually taps into this there we go and he has actually got full weapon storage to take these things wherever he actually goes so it actually adds a little bit more bulk onto the back which is actually kind of nice you know but also gives you like kind of like a place where you can actually store everything for Galvatron on him and everything and that's actually very cool I like the forethought that actually went along with that you know 
Also, he actually comes with this matrix right over here, you know, the matrix that he's actually trying to destroy Unicron with and everything, you know? You can actually take it off and I'm, I'm pretty sure that this can actually install into Optimus himself and everything like that, which is actually kind of nice. But you actually put this on right over here and he is ready to make records by putting that on his chain. And there we go. Now he's actually ready for the studio. That is awesome also. I really love this. And I really didn't think that I was actually going to like this as much or anything. Only because I kind of like felt like this chain should have actually been like more of a chain link chain. More than anything else. You know, do you get me? But I really don't have like an issue with anything this Galvatron is actually doing whatsoever. Most likely I'll probably be leaving this out altogether and everything. But... I love the fact that you actually have like so much playability with this Galvatron here. Just very, very cool. I'm gonna give you a couple of size comparisons with Galvatron and Megatron between Hot Rod and Galvatron. Galvatron and Starscream. And Galvatron and Ultra Magnus. And the fanboy in me screams because this is actually just so great. And I have been looking forward to like actually having a Galvatron that was actually like this for a long time and I love the fact that this can actually be kind of like this can actually be kind of fulfilled in this Galvatron here I love this this is actually perfect to me perfect that tells you and because I think it should actually be noted super blast effects compatible I really love Galvatron. So, I'm gonna take you into transformation and hopefully I don't fuck up. So, we are going to go through this. This is actually me just like doing this without looking at the instructions. Again, I actually had just a refresher course with uh, MGO's video and everything. So, thank you MGO for doing that uh, just transform it video. And here we go. First, we're going to take off the blaster right over here and we're just going to split it apart. Then we're going to take his hands, put them inside these caverns right over here and just make sure that they're like that. And we're going to fold his hands, his arms right into that notch right there. So just do that. By the way, I'm actually wondering if this is actually coming out as dark over here as I think it is. Because Galvatron really isn't this dark purple or anything. He's actually kind of like more of a lighter purple than anything else. And uh, what do you call it? Like, I, I think he's actually kind of like more of a grape purple than anything else if, you, if I'm actually going to say that. And uh, I don't know, like I think he's actually coming out a little bit darker on my camera here. But if I actually brought him up a little bit more, maybe you can actually see it. I don't know. But I should have actually done this a little bit more during the daytime and everything. I'm sorry, but the show must go on. So just bring his treads right over here. And I don't think the treads actually truly lock into anything, although there's like a slight thing right over here that kind of like makes me say that it should but there we go let's just bring this over here so the treads are actually done for the siege machine and now let's get this over here we're going to bring the heel spurs in we're going to unlock this part right over here and bring this in like so and connect this right over here there we are and do the same thing on the other side then we're going to bring these legs and swing them around like that and connect everything right down the middle now we're just going to bring this out there we go there when you're transforming back into robot mode there's a peg that goes right in here. So that'll actually secure your positioning there. Also, right over here. And let me tell you one thing about this version of Galvatron. 
I really think the devil is actually in the details here and everything like that because there is a lot of hidden detail. I'll bring this back piece down here. There is a lot of great detail that actually goes in here. Like, Hazor and Takara didn't actually have to go all out and do this, but they did. And I love it. Let's just get his head into this turret section. Also, when we lift this up, look at how beautiful that is. All of that detail is actually right in this toy here. And they didn't actually have to do all of this inner functioning, but they did. And I really love that. And I really hope that that actually keeps Massa, that actually will be what keeps like the leader class, the leader class here, you know? Even on the inner detailing in here too, like on the inner chest, that is beautiful stuff right there. Anyway, don't keep me gushing here or anything like that, but like I am really loving this Galvatron. So let's just get his head on the inside of this right over here and just like lift this right out of here. And there we are. And we'll just close this chest piece right over here. And this section goes right over here, just like that locks really securely. I love this. And now let's just get this down here and his legs. Wait, let's just bring this up. There we go. And his legs, we'll just bring that all the way. Sorry, everybody. Oh, and just let's get these out of the way for now because that's actually gonna form us function also. At first, I actually thought that these were wheels, but anyway, so let's just bring this all the way up and we'll actually connect this right into here. So let's do that. There we are. It's coming along so nicely. I really love how smooth this transformation is. So now we're going to bring this down here and we're gonna connect this right in here. When connecting that though, just make sure that this is all the way down here. So there we are and connect. Let's just I don't know if it connects in or if it slides in, but I think it actually connects in there. Sorry, everybody, this is a learning experience for me. This is my first time transforming him right out of the box. So I didn't give myself any time to practice. I was that excited to actually bring this guy to you. So here we go. And then we're actually gonna bring this side in here. And then we're gonna connect it right there. Yeah, that worked. And connect this. There's a connection piece right over here that connects against this. There we go. Yeah. There we go. After fighting with it for a little while, it stays connected. There we go. We actually see the siege machine actually coming into full focus. And now we just want to bring this piece right in here there we are and last but not least the barrel of the fusion cannon there we are and there we actually have galvatron hold on a second i know that this piece actually comes down and this comes out like this to actually form the full siege cannon sorry everybody but too excited i was actually gonna put it just like right down there goes galvatron in siege machine mode my god this is just so freaking awesome i really love this so much let's just get in on this whole entire thing loving this so much this is actually just probably one of the most beautiful galvatrons i've ever seen you know Let's see, you could actually bring this out and this down a little bit more so you can actually kind of like have him say, Starscream, here's a hint, you know, and then blast him with the, with the ah, this is so great. 
I am loving this so much. This is like probably one of the best fusion cannons I've ever seen for a Galvatron and everything. And that actually goes into third party or anything that Hasbro actually mass produced at one time. This is so perfect. Look at this. All of these details in here, you know, look at that. I can't stop marveling at this altogether, you know? Like, I really do think that this actually quintessentially makes Galvatron Galvatron. Just a beautiful work altogether. Good for you, Hasbro. Look at how beautiful this is. I'm pretty sure Hasbro and Takara might have actually said, you know what, we're tired of, like, jerks actually kind of like coming in and like making a Galvatron that's, we can actually do this, you know? And they finally did, holy shit, look at this. Loving this so much, every detail here is actually perfect, you know? I almost don't, I'd like, I there's a one point here and I keep on thinking to myself, they could have actually hidden these two in a little bit more or something like that, but that's a minor gripe altogether, you know? I know that they can't really hide the fist as well or anything like that. Minor gripe also and everything. But I am in love with this. Wow. And if you really wanted to, you could actually still like put his chain right around here and everything and make it look like he's actually like using the the matrix of leadership and everything while he's actually in siege machine mode, you know? So very, very cool. Also, let's see where these actually go now. Uh, I know there are points where you should actually be able to like put these little mini, uh, these little mini revenges and everything like that. I think I see it. So you should actually be able to slot them right in here like so. And again, on the other side, just slot it right in here like that. And that's really, really cool also, you know? Like, I really am, I really am in love with this. This is actually super dope. Like, look at that. And if you actually wanted to, you could actually use Galvatron to blast any of these MFers out of the way and everything like that, you know what I mean? And like, it wouldn't matter to Galvatron whatsoever or anything like that because he is actually ready for action. I love this so much. This is actually great. You know, on a scale of like 1 to 10, I'm actually going to give this Galvatron an 11 billion and everything like that because like, man, oh man, look at this. I am floored. You know, just totally floored on this. This is actually like so much better than I thought he was actually gonna be, you know? Anyway, that's actually kind of like my review so far and everything. I love all of these details. There's actually kind of like a lot of like, um, there is it, there it is. There's like a little bit of siege damage right over here also and everything like that. That's okay. I really don't mind that whatsoever or anything like that, you know? And even the siege dam and, uh, damage that's actually on him already and everything, I don't mind that at all. And I'm actually going to say, like, I really thought that that should have actually been left out and everything. He should have actually been, like, a little bit more of the shining Galvatron that he was when he was actually reformatted. But I am actually going to eat my words right now. This guy is great, 100% final verdict on this guy is actually coming up. I'm actually really floored. Now, I think I know what you're about to say. Norbs, you didn't give us any, like, any, um, what do you call it, comparisons or anything like that with Galvatron being a leader class figure and everything like that. You didn't give us anything, but you want to know something, everyone. I am freaking floored. Like, did Galvatron just all of a sudden become my favorite leader class figure ever? Like, I can't believe how amazing this guy is with doing exactly what he's actually supposed to. You know, like, Galvatron really just fit every single quality that was actually looking for in a Galvatron figure. And I'm sorry, but this guy really has me floored. You know, I know he doesn't have, like, opening fist or anything like that, even though the fists are actually kind of cool with, like, that, uh, that knuckle that actually comes out, kind of comes out and everything like that, and wants to pummel you and everything like that. But 
or like he's actually just about to give noogies the, like the most atomic noogies that he's ever that he's given anyone but let me tell you something this galvatron is superb I'm actually really surprised about that. I wasn't thinking that I was actually going to say that about this guy right out of box or anything like that, but this guy is amazing. I'm actually going to give him a rating of GR8. Great. Look at this guy. Like, I'm really super floored about this guy and everything. I can't say enough about him, you know? He just really just became like something that was, uh, that I didn't expect to see and everything like that like a superb quality figure and a superb like I don't know if I, like the pricing is actually like here and there and everything like that they would be like you guys discuss whatever you actually want to or anything but I think he's actually worth every penny that you actually spend on this guy if you actually get a chance to get this guy get him he's wonderful you know that's really all I've got to say about this guy. I'm actually really surprised about how great this guy actually is, you know? Don't let me gush, you know? Because if I do, I can probably spend like about 40 minutes gushing about this guy, you know? And it'll actually kind of like seem like I'm rambling and everything like that. But I'm going to tell you one thing. Wonderful. 100%. You know? And... That's it for me, Diecast Norms. I'm really proud. I'm really happy that you guys actually came back once again, and proud of you guys for sticking around and everything. You know, I really appreciate each and every one of you. Remember, hit the notification bell. That's one way that you'll actually know that I'm actually going to be back on for like another review. And this guy is amazing. When these guys stop being as magical as this, that's when I'll stop collecting. Also, make sure that you actually are kind to each other out there. Make sure that kindness spreads all around like wildfires of kindness and everything like that across everywhere and everything like that because we've actually got too much bullshit out there and everything, you know? So, again, thanks again for joining me. Diecast Norbs, signing off. I'll definitely talk to you soon.